Hey everyone, this is Jack G, and I'm back to talk about finally the long awaited Go Bag. This is a Go Bag system, as I like to call it, because it's a number of things that are complementary of each other. Um, the Go Bag system will cover emergency uh, situations, it's ultra light, and it's pretty inexpensive as it turns out. So, uh, as you know, I like to talk about uh, some of my hobbies, and one of my hobbies is emergency preparedness. And that's what this series is going to be about. It's going to be a three-part series, and then I will talk about individual um, components of, of the system um, in more detail. Uh, but to start with, I kind of wanted to have like a three-part series. Um, and uh, this is the first of the series. And... I wanted to kind of talk about um, all the things that I've purchased that kind of complement each other. Uh, I will uh, leave links down below um, in um, uh, to all the things that I purchased, how much they weigh, um, what I uh, paid for them, and um, some places that you can can go to get them. Uh, most everything I've purchased on on Amazon. You know, I'm a pretty big Amazon um, uh, fan because you can return things, and I've done that with one of these uh, items here as well. So uh, maybe probably the first thing to talk about is what I will not be covering. Um, this is about mobility. Um, first and foremost, you know, uh, go, you know, kind of get away um, and kind of, you know, bug out, etc. cetera. Um, what I won't be talking about are things that I think that you should have um, in uh, emergency situations that maybe you keep at home or in your shed or something like that. Uh, for instance, just as an example, like this emergency preparedness radio, uh, it's a hand crank, etc. Um, and I, I believe it's solar charged and so on. Uh, I wouldn't have this or, or necessarily need this to just uh, have my bag, um, but I will have this in and around the house. By the way, if you are interested in um, me talking about things that uh, I have, you know, in addition to uh, emergency bags uh, for preparedness, um, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to talk about it. Uh, also, give me feedback. I'm always looking to, you know, it's a hobby, like I say. I'm always looking for, um, you know, feedback on my items or your items or um, things of that nature, your experiences. Um, this is a Fatwood. I talked about this in my um, uh, GTFO uh, car uh, episode, you know, car kit, things you should have in your car. Kit, car. Uh, I won't be talking about this, but I do have like 10 pounds of this around the house. Um, so that I can use this for my uh, wood, wood stove that I'm going to talk about in my, uh, my bug out bag here in episode two. Uh, but I do have this. Uh, it burns really well. Um, you don't want to be, you know, burning stuff like this, you know, wood table because of the toxic fumes. Um, but I do have things like this. Uh, I won't be talking about, uh, you know, uh, air filter uh, breathing systems like this is a professional grade. Uh, this is super important. If you can't breathe, uh, your bag is going to do you no good. And with particulates and uh, uh, houses on fires, you know, from earthquakes and uh, forest fires here in California, um, these are super important. We have these for all the kids. Um, there are things that you can do uh, temporarily in your bug out bag that aren't this uh, industrial strength. So um, I won't be talking about those types of things. And one other thing that I'm not going to talk about um, is... Um, you know, if you're in a lawless situation or a zombie apocalypse, if there is such a thing. Um, so I won't be talking about what's in this bag. Uh, it's from Amazon Basics. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, it is super lightweight. Uh, it's pretty water resistant. Uh, I've spilled things inside of it and, and it's uh, held up well. There's lots of pockets, which I like. Um, but the nice thing about this is you can use it to carry a lot of stuff. It has a sh shoulder strap. Um, you can wear it in the front so you can have easy access to get things in and out, if you know what I mean, uh, out of the bag. Um, but I'm not going to talk about what's in this bag, but it's very low profile um, and super lightweight. I use this for all my laptops as well. Uh, just to give you an idea, let's see, what did I pay for this? Um, it was only like 13 bucks or something like that. It was really cheap. Uh, anyway, I'll put links to, uh, to the price. Oh, yeah, $13.49. Um, and it's super lightweight. I love it. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. Uh, and in a pinch, you can use it uh, as a, 
uh, bug out bag as well just to throw stuff in it. But I'm not gonna talk about those things. But if you do wanna hear about uh, additional things that I have for emergency situations, uh, like a hand coffee grinder, <laughs> I mean, we lost power in uh, the Northwest when we lived out there for a few days and I couldn't grind coffee because we didn't have power uh, and that's a critical thing. So, you know, I have lots of stuff like that. Um, so, uh, this is, as I mentioned, the first in the, the, a series um, and I wanted to first talk about kind of um, uh, systems that complement themselves. So this is like a holistic system. Um, so uh, I'm gonna do this in three parts. The first part I'm gonna talk about here is what I keep in my, um, uh, right next to my primary bug out bag. Uh, this only weighs four pounds. Uh, I try to keep it right at four pounds. That's ultra lightweight. Most people will tell you they will have lightweight bug out bags and they're like seven to 21 pounds. I think that's way too heavy. Plus I have a bad back. To give you an idea, four pounds is about half a gallon of water. Part of the reason why I like to keep this at four pounds is because if you carry water, a half a gallon of water, you're at five pounds. Uh, if you're gonna add some things in your bag, which we'll see, um, you just keep adding more weight. So I'd like to keep that down. But um, that said, uh, I have a number of things that I keep uh, next to my bag that I put on my person, helps distribute the weight, uh, helps complement what's in the bag. I like to have things that complement. This bag complements my wife's bag, which I'll do in uh, episode three. I'll do uh, all the uh, individual items in episode two here, so bear with me. Uh, get some popcorn, pour yourself a drink. Um, this is gonna be a lot to talk about, so hopefully you'll find it interesting. And um, let's jump right into kind of episode uh, one. So one thing I'd like to say is, you know, go uh, means, you know, you're going, but you should always shelter in place uh, if you can. Uh, it's best to stay at home, all your comforts around home, but obviously if you have an earthquake and things like that, um, you still might need uh, emergency supplies, clearly. Um, and you may need to, you know, go out and forage or go get a, a loved one somewhere and come back or go get some water and bring it back and then filter it. So all of these items are very lightweight, um, but they're just as good as, you know, uh, you know, stay at home bags as well as, you know, shorter term and longer term uh, durations from home. And each kind of progresses in the these items are shorter term, you know, lighter weight to a little bit more weight, obviously four pounds is not a lot, but I could live out in the woods for quite a while with this, and then longer term, heavier uh, uh, for out and away from home. So it kind of progresses like that. Each system, each one kind of complements itself, so it's a, it's a system. Um, so, you know, in, in a uh, emergency situation, you know, water is always a problem. It weighs a lot. That's why you don't see it in a lot of people's bags because it's too hard to carry. Instead, uh, you know, you use things like the life straw, which I'll talk about. Um, but what you should do is, in, a, in an earthquake or something like that, is fill your bathtub, fill empty jugs of, of water, fill your sink. Um, you can use uh, the toilet water, uh, not in the toilet bowl, but behind the, the toilet, uh, with filter systems um, to, to have water. So just, you know, gather as much as you possibly can when it comes to water in that case. So. Let's talk about what I call the on my person items. And these are right next to my bag. And then we'll get to uh, the bag in episode two and then episode three, the, the longer term bag. So I have this, this is my bracelet um, that I would put on. Uh, you've seen some of, you've seen me talk about um, this paracord. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more as time goes on. And then the fire starter can never have enough of these. Um, this will be on my person. Um, I have, uh, a compass, you know, just a nice old uh, Y guides compass. Uh, I have a life straw because you want to be fairly uh, mobile and uh, carrying uh, water weight is kind of a problem. So this is on my person. This is going to be on my neck. Uh, this will be on my neck as well. So you can drink as you go with this. Uh, filters out a lot of things. And you've seen this probably from my other videos, so I won't talk about this much, but this is uh, my neck knife. You could tuck this in your shirt if you want to be a more low profile. Again, ferocium rod for fire starter, uh, magnesium for fire starter, uh, sharpening blade here, and a, you know, for, for spark. Nice little knife. This alone you could survive with out in the woods if you had to. Um, again, more power cord, uh, paracord, sorry. <laughs> Um, cause you have more fishing line this way combined with this, you can tie a lot of stuff. You can 
tie tourniquets with it. Um, you can use it for snares. Uh, there is, let's see if I have that around here. Yeah, let me show you this. Um, so uh, for instance, um, this didn't come out very well, but you know, there's waterproof tinder in here as well. It's like a wax jute. So you can kind of, you know, fray it up in like a bird's nest and then it'll catch a spark. Um, so that's uh, in, in all these cords, plus the uh, 25 pound fishing line. So you can use it for fishing and you can pull these individual fibers out and tie a fishing net, etc., uh, or use it as um, um, a line to tie up stuff. So this stuff is great. I love it. Okay. So uh, let's talk about, so we've talked about this. This goes on the neck. This goes on the neck. Uh, around the neck. Sunglasses, hugely important to protect your eyes from the sun, but also from particulates. Um, one thing that most people miss, they're going to be out there, which uh, I use this uh, Victorinox um, Swiss Army Knife. I love it because it's one of the few that uh, has a lock for the, the blade. I don't like blades to come down on my fingers. And it weighs about a third as much as my Gerber Multi-Tool, which I love. Use this all the time. Um, but this goes with my heavier bag, this one over here, which is kind of my wife's family bag, along with uh, this longer term, um, you know, K-Bar, which I did a little bit of a discussion on. So those kind of go together. We'll talk about those in episode three. But one of the things that's nice about this that most people miss is it has this tiny little screwdriver. Hopefully you can see that, right? So why do you need that? Well, when your glasses start to break or come apart, so one of the few things that you can use in there. So this is worth its weight in gold. And its weight is like, let's see. This weighs, um, let me see. I want to say it weighs around like four point something ounces versus the, the Gerber. This is like heavy. It's like a pound. Like this is too heavy to put on my person, in my opinion, uh, or even in my go bag. This goes in the heavier bag. So this goes in my pocket. Uh, this I bring along. This is uh, the Spider Co. You've seen me talk about this from the Salt series. Um, Blade HQ. I'll leave a link. I leave links to all these things that you can purchase and the weight and the uh, cost. Um, this is awesome. They literally put this in the um, like Salt Lake and then in uh, Salt for like a week or two. It did not. It does not corrode. Uh, people use this for as a diving knife. Um, I want this because there's no mechanical parts, no springs, right? It's locked back, um, and it doesn't rust. So this is what I want. If it's raining uh, and salty or muddy, uh, this will last me forever. So between this and what's in my pocket, let's see, whatever I'm carrying of the day, looks like I'm carrying this EDC. Um, so... I always have two uh, knives, obviously three with this one. Uh, but as they say, one is none. If you lose it, it's gone. Two, if you lose one, two is one, right? Three is two, right? So I'm always pretty prepared. Um, so this is in my pocket. Um, this goes in my pocket. This goes on my neck. Uh, this is a belt. Uh, it's a 511 or a 511, some people call it. Uh, a lot of people use this, like uh, police use it for, it's, they use the uh, thicker version because it like holds their gun belt up and stuff like that. You can use it as a tourniquet, as a gauze, you know, for a sling or whatever. Uh, this one's a little bit lighter weight. It took me forever to find this, the 1.5. Uh, um, I'll leave a link to this um, because I really like this um, adjustable. You can use it to like, you know, hold, hold stuff, uh, like your bag up and on a tree or just all kinds of stuff. This will last forever. Um, but it took me forever to find, um, to find this, uh, this model. And so I'll leave a link, um, to it. I didn't like the bigger, heavier ones. Um, so, uh, fairly inexpensive as well. It's awesome. Uh, it's a must have for survival gear. Um, also, uh, this, I have, um, some tuna. It only weighs 2.5 ounces. It lasts a long time. The um, expiration date on this one is 2022. That's something you have to watch out for. Um, I have an Aleve in here for uh, pain. Uh, these are two tablets that are, they're called Noon, N-U-U-N. I'll leave a link. This stuff is awesome. Uh, way better than like Gatorade and stuff like that. Um, it gives you electrolytes. 
uh, if you get dehydrated, you can't drink more water to get uh, rehydrated. And dehydration is a big deal, uh, especially if you're walking a uh, long period. You can just take half of these and add it to water, half of one of these. And so this is a must have, in my opinion, uh, for dehydration and for energy. <clears throat> and then, you know, some, some fruit. So between these two, I just put these in my pocket. Uh, I could last, uh, you know, a week if I had to, but, you know, comfortably two days of of lots of walking. So this is gonna be on me as well. Then, uh, depending on if it's winter or not, I will grab a, a black hat, uh, if I want it to be a little more incognito, or a white hat um, if it's hot summer and to keep the sun off. Um, I love these hats. This is uh, Under Armour. Um, it's super lightweight, it breathes. It's like a bicycle cap, um, has, uh, you know, um, to, for sweatband here. It's just really lightweight. I, these are my favorite hats of all time. Love these. One for me, one for my wife. Okay. Um, Survivor Paracord, which we talked about. You know, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I'll use this uh, here in two ways. I'll show you. Um, I have two carabiners. These are heavy duty ones, and you'll see why. Um, I could use it here, clip this onto my belt and hang it. Uh, this is great for shelter tying, etc. all kinds of stuff. Um, love this paracord. Uh, I just keep pulling more and more off this. That's why I leave it out and then I'll grab it and go. And so I, I make things with this and then whatever's left, I'll take with me, right? Um, but the number one thing probably is this. This is amazing. So um, I'm gonna talk about this one a little bit more in detail, but check this out, like pretty heavy duty, right? So what is this for? This is a poncho um, and a hammock, uh, a two person hammock carabiners uh, and, and a good heavy duty uh, cordage. It's pretty light too. All up this weighs like uh, a pound, a little bit over a pound. So really lightweight, ultra lightweight. I'm into lightweight. I have a bad back. Uh, as they say, grams become ounces, ounces become pounds, and pounds become pain. Okay, so this, I'll show you a picture of this. The reason it's out is because if it's raining or it's cold, I'll probably uh, put my uh, go bag on put this poncho on and put it over it and I have my shelter. And let me show you, um, let me show you pictures worth a thousand words. Okay, so this is a cool thing, right? So the thing I like about it, you can kind of see like the hat is kind of like tacked onto the, the side here as opposed to in the middle, which most of them have, and then water can get in there. Um, especially if you're using it as, you know, uh, as, as cover. Um, but obviously rainwater can get in here if it's not very nice. Um, so it's also a hammock. What I love about the hammock is it's a double person, 500, rated for 500 pounds. So it's very, very strong. Um, and this hat, you can just put like your water jug here and then just fold it over you. Then it protects you from the mosquitoes and bugs and keeps the rain off of you as well. And a hammock doesn't have to be hung in a tree, right? Like you can lay it on the ground which I'll show you with my sleeping system, and just have the ends come up just ever so slightly, right? And tie it onto something. Um, and then water won't like run into your bag and then this covers you. And so now you have a completely protected shelter. You don't need a tent, right? This is one pound. Um, you can, you know, wear it during the day as a poncho uh, and then use it as a hammock. Uh, also for, because it's a two person hammock and I have a bad back and I don't, can't be arced like this. Um, you can lay diagonal and it's much, you know, more rigid that way. Um, or just use it as a mat if you have some other shelter that you've made some kind of lean to or something. And this is probably one of the best buys I've ever made. Uh, this, it just weighs a pound, super lightweight. And it is, I'll leave a link to this. I think they're currently out of stock, unfortunately. Um, but uh, let's see. This was... 17 ounces altogether, um, and it was uh, $23.95. That's crazy, and this is really good and durable. I bought it on Amazon. I, I it came with a rip. Somebody with a box cutter cut it, but it's very it's very thick and uh, waterproof. You can even use more waterproofing on that. You can spray it with some waterproofing. Um, perfect. This is worth a million dollars. The reason it's not in this bag is because I might be wearing it. But I could throw it in my bag so then we go from four pounds to five pounds that's why I like to keep this low because I might add a couple things to it as I go so this is what I call my on my person stuff this goes on me distributes the weight 
um, and it's a complement to um, this emergency system. Um, so in the next episode, uh, we will talk about the go bag. I'm going to take everything out of there. It's going to be interesting to see what I have in there. Oh, um, I almost forgot. Um, also, whatever's in my pocket. Um, I talked about this. This is one of the best things ever, uh, both for security, lighting, etc. cetera. Um, I talked about this in the car kit video. You should look at it. Um, of course, more fire starter. Can't have enough of that. Uh, more paracord. And what else is in my pocket? Oh. Uh, I said it somewhere, but like um, uh, lip ointment with um, um, sunscreen in it is, you need that for your lips, but also you can put it on your nose and stuff if you get sunburn. So this is what I call my, on my person, not this. Uh, all this stuff is on my person. I put on my person and I grab this as my go bag. Uh, redundancy is important. Um, if I lose my bag or it's stolen, I could literally live uh, with just what I have here. For a long period of time including my life straw etc um, and this is a complement to what's in this bag here in a minute that i'll show as well so uh with what's on my person i could uh go for extended periods of time um be very lightweight and even live without my go bag but my uh, if i add to my system my go bag this go bag or the next go bag i just keep extending my ability to like survive longer and longer in a more comfortable fashion so um so what did we have we have uh we've covered uh water we've covered uh food we've covered uh fire and we have covered uh safety <laughs> right um and for self-protection so i think we have most all the uh and shelter which we could make if we need it but we already have it in our um in here so we are in pretty darn good shape with just what we have here all up, this is probably a pound and a half, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe two pounds, but it's gonna be distributed on your body. Um, so that's the first video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it went a, a little bit long just because there's so much to talk about. I'll talk about more individual items. I'm gonna break down this bag next. And then, um, so mahalo. And uh, we'll see you in the next video when we actually take apart that uh, uh, four pound uh, go bag. So hopefully this uh, was interesting. And please leave me comments. I This is my hobby. I want to learn more uh, and give me feedback. Thank you.